Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a Twitter ad campaign. It doesn't matter if you run a small local shop or a big national company. Social media is an essential piece of your business marketing strategy. If people don't know about your business, they can't become your customers. Social media boosts your visibility among potential customers, letting you reach a wide audience by using a large amount of time and effort. And it's free to create a business profile on all of the major social networks, so you have nothing to lose. One of the big social media platform is Twitter and they do cater business now. Business owners are frequently being advised to engage on Twitter. You've heard the great things Twitter can do for your business, how loyal fans are going to increase your visibility and put you miles ahead of the competition. And here's an overview in creating a Twitter ad campaign. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing that you need to do is to sign into Twitter. You can also go directly to business.twitter.com. You should see your little icon on the upper right if you're already signed in. Click the Start a Campaign button to get started. You'll be taken to the ads the twitter.com page. This is where you'll be building your ad. The first thing that you need to do is to choose an objective. For this example, we will choose website clicks or conversions. The description of your objective will be shown on the right side. Let us create your campaign. Start by naming your campaign. Set a daily budget and the total budget for your campaign. Set the pacing. By default, standard is selected. This means that Twitter will show ads throughout the day and to spend the budget as efficiently as possible. Accelerated, on the other hand, is for time-constrained campaigns, like major sporting events. This will show ads as often as possible each day. Lastly, send your start and end date. So, whichever comes first, if the budget depletes or you reach the end date of your campaign. Once you're all set, click the next button to proceed. Next is to create your ad group. Name your ad group. It's optional if you want to set up a start and end date of this group. It is also optional if you want to set up a total budget. Otherwise, the budget specified at the campaign level will be used. Set your bid type. Automatic bid means that your bid will be optimized to maximize result at the lowest price. Target cost means that you'll be setting up a target cost per bid and your daily average cost will meet or beat the highest target you've set for the day. Maximum bid on the other hand is going to bid higher and it helps your ad display more often. You'll never pay more than what you've bid and you'll usually pay less. Once you've filled out everything on this page, click next. Next is to target your audience. You can skip the your audience part and go directly to the demographics. Select the gender and age. You can also filter your audience by their location, language, platform, device, carrier or OS versions. Let's say my website is for an app that only supports Android Oreo, iOS 10 and above. So, I need to choose the OS version because you wouldn't want to spend your ads on people who don't have the capability of downloading your software. You'd also specify your audience feature such as their interest, behaviors, conversation topic, and more. Let's say my app is for a family household security, so this means that I need to select an audience that has a high technology level in the household. It is up to you if you wanted to retarget people who already have engaged your past tweets 
or if you wanted to expand your audience. You can also target those who already are following you. Once you're all set, click the next button. The next one is creatives. This is where you'll be selecting the tweet that will be used as an ad. If you haven't tweeted it yet, then you better do it. Just put a check on the checkbox for the tweet that Twitter will be using for this ad campaign. Choose the ad placement on the right. Choose the category that best describe your ad. Enter the domain name of the website used for this ad group. Then click next. The last part is the campaign details. Double check your ad campaign. Make sure that you have everything in there. If you wanted to edit a detail, just click the edit button on the right side. Once everything is final, click the launch campaign button. The last part is where you will be adding your funding source for this ad. Just enter your credit card information and you're good to go. Once you get past this, your campaign is all set. Please be advised that this is only an overview of how to create a campaign on Twitter. If you want to know the best strategies in targeting your customers, you can always visit the links in the description. You can learn a lot from us. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!